This lesson is about the technique used by Linux to connect to devices such as disk drives. Each device and each file system connected to your Linux system is accessed through a device node in the DEV, also known as the dev directory. A device node is also called a device special file. Now this is not a file that contains data. When you read from the file, you're actually reading from the device. And when you write to the file, you're writing directly to that device. You can actually create a device node anywhere you want. But the ones that come with Linux are in the slash dev directory, and there's no reason for you to put them anywhere else. Linux comes with more device nodes than you could possibly ever need on a single system. They are pre-allocated on disks, so you can quickly hook to any device that you connect to your computer. There are device nodes for terminals, serial ports, network cards, anything else you might want to hook up. Right now, let's take a look at the disk drive devices and see how that works. The device nodes have a naming convention that makes it relatively easy to keep them straight. The most common type of disk drive being installed today is the IDE drive. Most IDE disk drive controller cards can handle two devices. The device nodes for those two drives are named HDA and HDB. If you add more IDE drives, they'll be named HDC, HDD, and so on. You can subdivide each drive into more than one partition, and each partition is a separate file system and has a separate device node. If, for example, you divide the first drive, HDA, into three partitions, they could be addressed as HDA1, HDA2, and HDA3. These numbers don't necessarily have to be assigned in any order, and they often aren't, but there are plenty of them. Linux provides you with device nodes all the way to HDA32. You have the same number of device nodes using the same naming convention for HDB, HDC, and so on, all the way up to HDT. That is, as far as Linux is concerned, you can have up to 20 IDE drives and divide each one of them into 32 partitions. SCSI drives have the same naming convention. The first drive is associated with a device named SDA, the second with SDB, and so on. The floppy drive that you would call A on a DOS system is FD0 on a Linux system, and drive B is named FD1, but that's not all. There are lots of other names. Each size and type of drive has its own device node name. If you hook up a five and a quarter inch floppy disk drive, the device node names are FD0D360 for a 360K floppy and FD0-1200 for a 1.2 megabyte floppy. Hook those up and you're ready to go. And that's not all. You'll find all sorts of device nodes for all sorts of drives, including EDSI and RAID devices. The naming of the device nodes for RAID drives is a little more complicated because each node has to address the device, the specific drive in the device, and the specified partition on the drive. Let's take a look at a couple of actual device nodes. Here is the HDA device node. The device node is owned by root and is a member of the group named DISC. Here, looking at the permissions, you can see that everyone, including the group members, are allowed to read and write to the disk drive. Now each device node has two numbers, a major number and a minor number. The major number is the device and the minor number indicates the unit of that device. Here is a list of the HDA device nodes. Each of these nodes is for a partition of the same drive, so the major number is the same on all of them, but the minor number is different for the different partitions. You can actually name a device node anything you want. It's these major and minor numbers that specify the actual device. Oh, one other thing. Notice the device type is the letter B. This means that it's a block device, that is, an entire block of data is transferred to or from the device in a single operation. 
If the device is the kind that you read and write a single character at a time, its type letter is C, indicating a character device. All disk drives are block devices. An example of a character device is a terminal. The original Unix had teletypes for terminals, and the device nodes for them were named TTY, as a sort of tradition that same name is used today. As you can see, this terminal device has a major number of 5, a minor number of 0, and is a character device. Well, that's a kind of brief look, but you get the idea. The major and minor numbers tell the Linux kernel which device driver should be used and what part of the hardware the device driver should address. We're going to be doing more with this stuff as we go along, so you'll get familiar enough with it to be able to use it. At this point, you may be thinking, wait a minute. If you have to address the device node, which is on disk, before you can read or write to the disk, isn't the horse somewhere in front of the cart? I mean, how can Linux get started? I'll be going into more detail on this toward the end of this course, but let me just give you a hint. The boot procedure establishes a temporary working device node just for the boot drive. Once the system is up, it switches to the regular device node. Oh, 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 oh,